So years ago, there was this show on TV called Pit My Ride. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember that. What they did is they found a person sort of down on their luck. They took their vehicle, brought it into their shop just to do a few little things. They put a ton of money into it and just made their vehicle awesome and then just gave it back to them and videoed their reaction on camera. Well, that's kind of what I'd like to do with this. So a good friend of mine, Staff Sergeant in the United States Army, he lives close to me. He's actually dropping off his Duramax to my shop just to do some minimal stuff to it. So the light bulb went off. I had this really cool idea to take his truck and basically transform it into something that you wouldn't even be able to recognize. As you guys notice, I've been posting one YouTube video a week for the last month now. So the content that you're seeing in this video today was filmed about five, six weeks ago. So by the time you guys watch this video, the soldier will already have his truck back, already done up. I know exactly what it looks like, but make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. This is going to be a five-part YouTube video series on my channel. But here's the deal. When he returns back from training to pick up his Duramax that he thinks I'm just going to do something really small to, to his surprise, it's gonna look totally different and he's gonna be absolutely shocked. So in this video today, I'm gonna go ahead and do a full walk around on this thing and kind of get some ideas of what we're gonna do to the truck. But speaking about giveaways, if you guys missed that last YouTube video, the wife and I selected the truck that we will be giving away on the channel. And unfortunately, it's probably one of the coolest trucks on my fleet. It's the 2008 Chevy Silverado Duramax, the LMM series. This truck is super nice. It's sitting on a six inch lift kit, 22 inch rims and tires, RDS turbo, HSP piping kit, four inch exhaust, the works, man. Air dog lift pump, it's so nice. What I'm trying to do is raise a portion of the proceeds to give back to the DAV. Not only are you gonna have an opportunity to win my Duramax, you're giving back to a great cause, but we also have two extra prizes that we're gonna be announcing at the end of the giveaway contest. For every $1 spent on the website is one automatic entry. Definitely pick up some merch because we will be running out very shortly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy this video, stay tuned. <laughs> This is so special. Make sure you guys watch till the very end. So kind of a really unique position that I'm in. So a good friend of mine, his name is Kyle. I have a lot of friends named Kyle. And I served with him in the army. Actually, no slack, 327th Infantry, 1st Brigade. We were assigned to the 101st Airborne Division. We were actually stationed at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. He has a 2008 LMM Duramax. He bought it from the dealership. He was very proud of it. This was, uh, I think, two years ago. For many of you guys that know, I retired from the U.S. Army probably about three years ago. He is still in. He's a staff sergeant, and he's actually a recruiter here in Michigan. He's headed to training for five weeks. He just called me a couple days ago, and he was giving advice on how to remove his center console out of his Silverado and put a jump seat in the front seat because his wife is now pregnant with their fourth child. So he'd be able to fit everybody in the vehicle. I was in that same position, actually. So I started thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? This was supposed to be my daily driver. I told him, I'm like, hey, if you're willing to do this, I'll give you my jump seat in this truck and I'll take your center console and put it in this one because it, it'll fit. And he was like, yeah, sure, whatever, man, as long as I can get my whole family in there. Since he's already dropping it off, I thought, what a great opportunity to, of course, do what he wants, you know? And since the truck's gonna be with me for five weeks, why not I contact Rough Country, uh, Ryan's Diesel Service, Kodiak, HSP, um, banks, I don't know, air dog, all these performance parts that I like to use on my trucks, maybe contact their companies and see if they'll sponsor, like basically sponsor a soldier. So basically what I'm saying is I'm going to do this to his truck. He's not going to know anything about it. So this is the LMM. in the same predicament you were in. I removed the center console from this thing because mm -hmm. I have four kids and I know that your wife's having one. So uh, yeah, there she is. That thing's nice. It's mint, dude. Yeah. Truck's dirty, but. All the leg room in the world. My kids have leg room right here. As long as, as, long as my daughter's not trying to drive the truck and put her foot on the gas. Come on, <laughs> no, yeah, I know what you mean. I think you'll be alright, man. You excited about having I'm, another kid? Yeah, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm stoked. I leave for Arkansas tomorrow night, and then when I come back, I'm gonna have a baby. So, so how long are you gonna be gone for? Five weeks. Five weeks? Yeah. It sucks, you know, because my wife's like last trimester right now, and yeah, going through a tough time. But... I hear you. Okay. Well, we'll get it taken care of. Appreciate it, man. But uh, it's dirty. Dude, they just raided our road yesterday. Dang, man. Was it like that when you bought the truck, or is it getting worse? Uh, it's getting a little worse, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And smoking a lot of deer. Like, I took out 
No, you didn't. You yeah, hit a deer? I put like four deer this year. What? I took out my front left fog light. I dented the, the front right, right here. And then I had another one literally right on the other side of Cork Road. Run literally right into the side of the truck. Dude. Yeah. So you, so you dented the door. Dented the door. The fender. Dented the fender. And the light. And, yep, and the fog light. I literally, like that, there was a doe, and that doe literally, like, came up and over the wheel. And I ran over with my back wheel. At least it wasn't worse. You yeah. can't even tell unless you pointed it at me. Yeah. But, all right, cool, this man. All right, well, we'll get her squared away. I just wanted to get this on camera because I wanted to kind of show the process of switching out of center console. Okay. But it's kind of cool because it helps you and me at the same time. Sure. So I appreciate it, Kyle. Thank you, sir. Thanks, brother. <laughs> but cool, man. All right, well, have fun at training. Thanks. See ya. Fortunately, the guy lives in the country on a dirt road, so this thing's gonna get dirty all the time anyways. But I'm already kind of thinking of some ideas. For example, PPE HD tie rods which I myself can sponsor. Of course, I have that website, truckmasterdiesel.com. So I'm actually gonna do a lot of sponsoring on his build as well. And we're gonna basically collaborate on this, but I'm actually thinking about HD tie rods because he's got stock tie rods. This truck has 175,000 miles on it. It's the LTZ package. Well, once I remove the center console, I guess I don't know what you'd call it now. I'm driving it right now. It seems like it runs really good. The steering wheel's a little off and the tire pressure sensor light is on. See the steering wheel? It's a little off, so maybe we can correct that as well. He's got his duck calls and stuff like that. This guy is a big hunter. I'd imagine he takes this thing off-road quite a bit, even like off the trails in order to park his truck away from the wood line. Oh yeah, yeah, she scoots. She's got a little bit of power. It sounds healthy. He's got the ugly Mickey Mouse style tow mirrors, which hopefully we can switch those out too. Okay guys, so now that we have it home, it actually looks really good. It cleaned up very nice. That's one thing I like about a black truck. Once you clean it, it actually does look pretty presentable. Honestly, I haven't really looked at his truck. Whew, it's dirty. But it looks like all he has is a cold air intake, or well, whatever you want to call it, an air intake, an upgraded one. And, man, not even nothing, just, just bone stock. This is exactly what I like right here, man. The tires, Goodyear Wranglers, not bad tires, but they're pretty bold. They're all the way down to the wear bar, so these definitely need to be replaced. Look at this, guys. This guy needs new tires, like bad. So, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and try that route as well. He's actually explained to me how much he didn't like this. This is kind of hideous, so I'm gonna take that off. Take my 3M eraser wheel, get all that off of there. Um, not too sure if I wanna get rid of these yet. We'll see, he does like sort of the blacked out, well, he likes the black truck, sort of blacked out look, so. Maybe we can take those off, I'm not sure. I know one thing he was talking about was this plastic clad right here, removing this. Um, I don't know if I want to. He wants to debra basically debadge everything, except for the 2500 HD. I'm not too sure if I want to do that because if I remove it and the paint's all faded, it may not look very good. So I'm gonna leave that up to him. So whenever he comes back, if he wants me to remove that, I will. But I've noticed in the past removing these, sometimes you may get lucky and sometimes you may not. These ugly Nerf bars. Practical, but not a huge fan of those. We may do something upgraded. I don't know. We'll see guys. We'll see what happens We'll see what kind of trouble we can get into the frame It's actually this plastic right here actually wore right into the frame to the metal But sort of brainstorming here I'm definitely gonna go ahead and clean up this frame Maybe do like a nice undercoating paint job or something Protect it a little bit better because this is a Michigan truck. It's gonna stay up here and it's going to be salt ridden unfortunately that's just how it goes up here guys i'm gonna go ahead and rip this out right now go ahead and take my jump seat out and we're just gonna swap that out really quick in this video and i know what some of you guys are gonna say just delete the truck put a tune on it you know stuff like that straight exhaust yeah no i totally agree with you if you have a diesel and you understand what i'm talking about as far as i'm concerned egr deletes the way to go man you remove all the emissions junk you don't have to worry about the exhaust basically reintroducing into the combustion chamber for a second burn and then going out of your exhaust it lessens the amount of work that your engine needs to do. Nowadays, I gotta be careful, and not only that, uh, if our awesome blue state decides to start doing emissions checks, well, he's gonna have to put all that garbage back on the vehicle. And yet another reason why I'm staying emissions intact on my L5P.
Okay, so now that we did the center console jump seat swap, he should have plenty of room to have his kids in there. But here's the problem. We're going to have to cover up that carpet here eventually. And I have nowhere to mount that amp. The radio will not work if you remove that thing. So it has to stay in there. I guess I'll figure something else out later in the future. But it actually doesn't look too bad. I think he'll be happy with it. So now we're back here in the red truck. I went ahead and just removed everything. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up nice and clean. Probably install one of those Boost Auto Parts chargers that go right here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Guys, it's so humbling to be able to get back to a soldier and just bless this guy. The area that we were deployed to was very dangerous, and for that entire year, he's just been through so much. What better person to pick but a military service member to do something cool to his truck? So just to recap here, this is kind of my idea. Like I said, definitely a better turbo, probably some tuning. We're going to go ahead and do some intake stuff on that truck. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe a transfer case, an intercooler, exhaust wheels tires lift kit that's my goal and i only have so much time and i'm literally reaching out to these companies and letting them know so it's probably going to take a couple weeks for those parts to show up and whatnot but you guys shouldn't wait on the content we're going to be posting these videos probably once every three days until this truck is completely finished and then after that i'm gonna go ahead and get his reaction and then one more thing before i get out of here i'd like to send a special shout out to everybody that already participated in this giveaway I'm pretty sure i mentioned this before but there's gonna be three winners the first prize is going to be that, second, the Foxwell Diagnostic Scan Tool, and then third, it's going to be the CRP Launch Scan Tool. These are actually worth about 500 bucks a piece. I'm actually going to go ahead and continue to upgrade this thing. We're not going to leave it the way it is, so we're going to keep plugging away at it. The reason why this content is going to be so old is because I don't want him to know anything is up because he does watch the channel as well. That's it for this video today. Definitely get your orders in. I think I'm already out of stock, but check out the website anyways, and we'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned. Today we're going to be doing something pretty cosmetic, actually more function. And this is from truckmasterdiesel.com. This is an Ed CTS 2. I'm not sure it's compatible with 3s. I would assume so because I would think they would use the same bracket mounting system for our trucks if you have a center console. Now I got this off truckmasterdiesel.com. Like I said, I'll leave the link in the description below. This is Josh. He started his diesel page not too long ago, I believe. And there's a few things on there that I've grabbed and I kind of wanted to get this because I haven't really seen something like this and it's going to be a good location for me and it's a very simple install. So I'll show you guys the install. I'll give you guys a quick little review on it, how I personally think about it. And um, it's that easy. So as you see right here, I've got mine mounted on the window puck right now. And quite honestly, it's pretty simple. All it is is right here. I've got it run up through here, just like that. It's run up through there. And instead of running it through there, you're gonna run it below into the your center console here. You're gonna need to pop this trim off. Real simple, just a little bit like this, so that you can pull this piece out. Pulls out that simple. And you're gonna run it through the back, back in here. Now I'm gonna run that real quick for you guys. Before I show you anything else, I'm gonna run the wire over, I'll zip tie it up, and I'll show you exactly where this new mount is gonna mount in our center console. Obviously now you can see I drilled my hole right back through here, and that's for this cable to go back in there when I shove it back in there. I should be able to shove all this excess back deep down in there because there is quite a decent amount of cavity back there. So now once my cable's back there, I've got truck masters, part just right here it's obviously a 3d printed part as to what my guess would be i don't know i can't exactly quote that um like i said before i'll leave a link in the description below it's a very well crafted piece it's going to fit in there really nice and snug here's the cts2 it simply just slides on the back just like this just like your regular mount would snaps in place and you can see here just how well built this is and how precise it is that is your cable is going to fit perfectly just in there you then connect your cable Shove your cable back in there. Now I must say this is a much better option having it down here than up here. 
I already can see how much more window room I have. No more blind spot right here with this cup. I've ran this for about, I'd say, geez, you know, three years now. Four years, actually four years. I've ran this for about four years now and I'm pretty happy with it. But this, I'm way happier about. It's a better fitment. It looks nice, it fits nice, and I really cannot complain. So driving with it down here is gonna take a little getting used to versus driving with it up here. You know, I'm used to just driving along and looking over to my left and then seeing it right there. So this will just take a little bit getting used to, but I'm definitely a lot happier with it here than I am up here. It's just simply more aesthetically pleasing, looks more cleaner, I'm happy with it. Instead of having that suction cup puck up here on the window, you know, it creates kind of a blind spot, not really, but just a little bit. And uh, I'm just, I'm a lot happy, I'm, I'm really happy with it. And it, for the cost of it, it's definitely worth the price if you have a center council.